Everyone has heard about the Sims franchise. It's the type of game that people either hate or love, but whatever the case, it's one of the most successful titles in the history of gaming, and for a good reason. Having full control over a household and even a whole town's destiny, which means that are sometimes impossible, because you can't just drink a potion to freeze your age, or become a zombie for example, proves to be an engaging and addicting game design. We have a lot to cover, so let's delve in. And just a quick note, I have all the expansion and packs currently installed and as I will point out, one of the game's downsides is the hard time it gives on your computer, especially if it's not very powerful. Lots of long loading screens, weird bugs and glitches and clearing out manually cached files that, uh, that can take upwards of 5 gigabytes of space are normal for this game. For that reason, I did not reinstall the expansions and packs that I have, so some of the features you see will not be a part of the base game. When you load the game, you are greeted by a couple of intros and a trailer video, after which you see the home screen. The main menu is simple, you can choose a world to start your new game, load up a previous save game or access the options. The options give plenty of opportunities that you can adjust your game, graphics and lifespan of your scenes, from very short to ridiculously long as well as options for specific expansion packs, as the title of the game points out, it's a simulator, even a sandbox game. Most of the time it's not particularly challenging, although you can set yourself up additional challenges if you want a tougher time, but the idea is to create and shape the sims appearance and life in any way you would like. As the world worlds, you can pick one of the pre-existing households or create your own one. If you want to play as yourself or as Arnold Schwarzenegger or anybody that you would want to recreate. In the game itself, you have your household sims that you can freely choose and move to whatever part of the town you would like. One sim can be at home cleaning dirty dishes while the other one can be at a party, out in town or to visit the beach. The world is open at all times, there are no loading screens after you start the game which compensates for the very long loading screens at the start of your game. The Sims UI is quite simple once you get familiar with it. First off, you have the Lifetime Wishes system, which grants you lifetime happiness points in three ways. One of the ways is to fill up your happiness meter. Just keep the happiness bar filled up and green by taking care of your needs and gaining positive moodlets. If your bar is empty or red and your Sim is depressed, you won't gain lifetime happiness points but you won't lose them either. The second way is to fulfill your Sims lifetime wish. There are about 50 lifetime wishes in the base game and about 30 more from all of the future expansions. They range from reaching the top of your career to having 20 friends or even being a gold digger and seeing your spouse die. The third and last way you can gain lifetime happiness is by fulfilling your wishes. They show up in this window and you can select up to 4 of them at any time and also abandon them wherever you want. These wishes depend on the environment and the personality traits that your sim has. With the lifetime points you can purchase many lifetime rewards, like having a steel blood. You now never have to go to the toilet again. Purchasing a potion to make you a young adult again and plenty of more which will take too long to cover. Each sim has up to 5 personality traits. 6 with the future ambitions expansion pack which we will cover later. Sim babies are born with 3. They can select their 4th and 5th trait when they become teenagers and young adults respectively. There are 63 traits in the base game with about 30 more in the future expansions. They range from desirable traits like charismatic, neat and lucky to very undesirable traits like being insane, a loner or dislike children. The endless combinations you can create very unique and sometimes very unstable individuals. There is the first panel where your traits and the age are shown. Once the age bar fills up, your age obviously, and if you are older you die and the Grim Reaper comes to take your soul. Of course you can die in many different ways other than that, so make sure you are careful while playing not to lose your favorite scene. Next is the relationship panel, which is pretty self-explanatory. Family members, co-workers and random people you met at the bar are shown here. The career panel shows your job or profession with the ambitions expansion. 
your wage and what is needed to progress in your job. There are 10 levels for all careers. The last one can fulfill your lifetime wish if you have a lifetime wish for a career. The performance matter shows what you need to get promoted. Each job has unique requirements, but being in a good mood is necessary for all jobs. The skills in the game are displayed in the next panel. They are necessary for some careers and lifetime wishes. They are about 10 with the base game. Among them are being athletic, handy and logic, which can make your uh, team work out for longer. Repair objects by themselves without calling the repairman and pay them 50 simoleons or solve tasks on the internet for extra money. To level up a skill, there is a bar above your sim's head where you can track the progression. The inventory bar is also self-explanatory, you carry your stuff there. There is also the opportunity tab where you can fulfill various tasks for money, popularity or job progress. The last and most important panel arguably is the needs panel. There are 6 needs. Unlike the 8 needs of previous sims versions which reduces the micromanagement of your sims. But you still need to keep them up as they are an integral part of your happiness. Get your lifetime points and rewards. Keep your sims fed, empty their bladders, wash them up, socialize, sleep and have fun. If your sims needs aren't met, they will get red moodlets which reduce their overall mood. There are so many options for your sims in this game. You can create and play pretty much any type of sim your imagination can come up with. Not only that, there are more options to, use to customize your sims, your household and the town itself. In creating a sim you can change your age, in traits and quotes down to the very last detail. You can change your quotes, hair and even eyebrow color to make any type of sim from aesthetic to downright ridiculous. In build or buy modes you can fully customize your lobs, buy or sell everything from curtains to your fridge. Buy a car and change the color of everything you want. You can have your car match the wallpaper in your living room that also matches your t-shirt. In build mode you can build floors, walls, roofs and configure all the details that you can possibly come up with. You can even build a floor that levitates above your house. But not only that, you can customize every single object in the entire town. You can place or delete pre-made lots, you can create your own lots and you can even buy or sell items within these lots. You can even delete and replace every single object in the ambience like trees, rocks, in a nutshell. The game is amazing and you have the opportunity to play out every scenario you can imagine and even beyond that. But of course nothing is perfect, not even The Sims 3, even though it comes pretty close to perfection. I'm not going to pick up on the small stuff and imperfections in the game as the attention to details the developers put in is great, but there is a price to pay for all of this. The game can become quite sluggish with very long loading screens even on powerful computers. If you play for a couple of hours you have to delete the files in your cache for which I might make an additional video to show you what and how you must delete. These trash files can be upwards of 5 gigabytes, and you need to regularly exit the game and delete them. If you don't, the game will become very slow to the point of being unplayable, sometimes it even crashes. But this is the price to pay to have this great game around. If you haven't played it and you are a fan of the genre, or you have played it a while ago but forgotten about it, Go and give it a shot, you will have plenty of fun game time hours. Thank you for watching, if you liked it and you want to support my channel and see more content like this for various games, please like, subscribe and leave comments, it helps a lot. Thank you and go have some fun now.